I'd like to greet the Honorable Marigold Hardin, Chairman of the Board of Management. I'd like to greet all the members of the board who are present with us physically or who may be zoomed in on this platform which will forever be with us and to give a special greeting to Mr. Yoat of the board who is here physically present. I want to greet Miss Hope Brooks who has been here from the beginning from the very beginning and perhaps we should use this occasion to say happy birthday to you. <laughs> I greet especially our interim principal, Miss Dorrit Campbell. Seated beside her is the Vice Principal of Administration and Resource Development, Dancer. Miss Kerry Ann Henry, Dr. Roger Williams, Acting Vice Principal of Academic Affairs, Mrs. Claudia Woonchin, I know I saw you, uh, Registrar, I'm looking around if I see, yes miss, if I see any representative of the Students Council physically here, I anticipate that the president, Ms. Kai Wigan, is joining us on the electronic platform. I'd like to greet all the deans and acting deans and to say how much I was enjoying the way you are doing it again, Mr. Marlon Sims. Those brown eyes <laughs> are fixed in this direction. A very special good morning to you. Mrs. Glynn Manley. All our friends, the students who are here um, earning their keep from Viscom and their credit. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, all the members of staff, wherever you are, at whatever level you are, a very pleasant good morning to everyone. Yesterday we had our interfaith service at the beginning of what we have come to call Founders Week and what we are still trying to understand or grow into a deeper understanding of all the implications of what that means and this morning we are here to do a very special activity which constitutes the official press launch of Founders Week. The theme, as you may know, is rising and responding. And I like to think of this special Founders Week in the 45th year of the existence of the institution that has come to be called the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, located in the Diamond Jubilee anniversary of Jamaica Land We Love, which is operating under the theme what is the theme for Jamaica 60? I so know it. It's re-enchanting ourselves to greatness. And I like to think of this as an opportunity to re-enchant our world. This wonderful opportunity that we are able to gather uh, thanks to the relaxation of the COVID restrictions that we are able to gather like this together and to consider what it means to re-enchant our world. To re-enchant our world through personal growth and through a personal centering in the responsibility of this thing that we say we love. I'm not now talking about the institution, Hope. I see the quizzical marks on your face. This thing that we say we love, whatever art form we are involved with, I believe confers on us a special responsibility. And each of us has to come to a conclusion about what that special responsibility is if we are to feed that special responsibility into how we are responsible for the institution and how we allow that institution to rise and respond. With this engagement, 
that Founders Week allows us to have with the vision and the visionaries whose dedication and commitment brought this institution into being. There is an African proverb, I think it's from Kenya. Africa is a big place. There's an African proverb that says, you're never dead until the last person calls your name. And there are many people who have passed through this institution who we cannot allow to die. Not because we're going to be screaming them name, Rex Nettleford, Barbara Rex, what is that? But when we say their names, we know why we say their names. And we know the power that their names confer upon us. It's that kind of engagement that we mean. Because of that kind of engagement and that kind of power, we are able to link them across time and space. And those of us who engage with the African cosmology know that there is no space in between us when we call our ancestors them present. <laughs> but we are given the opportunity to uh, commune with them beyond time and space because their loved ones are always here. There is always another generation. And for that reason, we are we're particularly happy for what is about to happen this morning. There is one generation that hope represents, but there is another uh, generation that Mrs. Manley represents. It's that generation um, whose name we echo every time we say the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. And isn't it wonderful that long after people have passed and gone, we can still be getting gifts from them? They leave us <laughs> with the gifts that keep on giving. So this morning, we're going to be receiving a very special gift. Our principal is going to receive that gift, and that gift is going to be presented by Mrs. Manley. What I would like to do is to introduce them both at the same time and then I can get out of the way and when the presentation has taken place and we are both moved with all the emotions, I will come back to say something. So as we are uh, re-enchanting ourselves, we are reminded that Jamaica only look like it little upon the map. But we large at home, yard, and abroad. And we are so large. And we have such energy that sometimes people think they have only come for a visit. <laughs> and when they come for a visit, they find that they cannot leave. Jamaica has a very special relationship with Scotland. We see it in Anansi because we also see it in the Green Giant. We see it in the way we are treated in terms of our, our mother tongue, our language, and we know how the Gaelic gets the same kind of treatment as what we used to call the Jamaican Patois, but which you have long recognized as a language in itself and which we're also recognizing for our own languages. And then we see it in place names. We see it in Lancaster and Doncaster. We see it in a range of other place names, names of schools and so on. Um, we see it in the fact that without the Scots who came here, who would have known anything about Cooper and Coopering and tying up the sugar barrels to send them anywhere? So we've had this long historical uh, family connection. And then when some family members arrive and them fall in love with the family, them realize, you know, I'm not leaving this branch of the family. Mrs. Green, I'm not going to tell anybody what year you come here, you know. But you and I know that you tell me that already. 
<laughs> you can tell them if you wish when you come up here and fell in love with not just Jamaica, is the way I think you have expressed it, but with the creative magnificence. Isn't that wonderful? The creative magnificence of this country and culture. And just could not leave, even if she wanted to. Now, Mrs. Glynn have some well-kept secret. Fitness guru. Don't challenge her, you know, Kerry. <laughs> Don't challenge her. Dancer. Did you know that? Tony Wilson and fabulous groups that she danced with. But she has also been involved in the visual arts. She's had solo exhibitions and she's had group exhibitions. And then I have to make sure that I am correcting this fact. So I'm going to read it. And if it's not true, it's a Nancy tell me. For eight years, you worked as the executive director of the University of the West Indies Development and Endowment Fund, uh, where you had another opportunity to delve more deeply into the arts that you love and how that endowment fund um, could assist other, other artists. Uh, that you have given more than 30 years of service um, to various levels of the sector. And so we're very happy this morning that through your creative endeavors and your understanding of what moves the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, you are going to be engaging our interim principal, Miss Dorrit. Miss Dorrit Campbell, <laughs> who, yes, <laughs> who carries her own passion for the arts, a literary arts scholar with, with a passion for creative endeavors and with a passion for the potentials of the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts to grow, to serve its present localized community at One Arthur Wind Drive, to serve the wider Jamaican community and to take the Jamaican arts sector to the world. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a very special welcome to Mrs. Glenn Manley. And may I ask you interim principal to join her at the same time at the lectern, if that's okay with you both, to uh, do your remarks and make the presentation. While we're waiting, I'd like to explain. I came here in 1961. <laughs> I was born there. <laughs> and um, I came in the evening and I went to the bed that was assigned me. When I woke up the next morning, I saw the bluest sky I had. I'm coming from Scotland. The bluest sky, I couldn't imagine a sky could be so blue. And then Further on, there was a banana tree with a big bunch of bananas and the yellows and the greens and the sky. And I, honest to God, said to myself, I think I've come home. <laughs> so said so. <laughs> Not sure why she wants me to remove my ID because I was just about to say that I have come to the Edna Manley College at an opportune time. It is a year when an awesome lot of exciting things are happening and I know that from where I come I would not have been so intimate a part of it. I doubt very much if I would have been a part of it. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, as much as I bring, I think there's much for me to take and there's much for me to learn from the Edna Manley. Having said that, I also want to say that Manley is synonymous with transformation in Jamaica. And without or at the risk of you guessing my age, I would have been one of the One Love children 
you know that period in which there was a slew of social transformation and an awareness of a national identity a sense of acceptance of our blackness and we were just proud to be Jamaicans. I think we are still proud to be Jamaicans, but that awareness took Jamaica by storm. And anybody born in that era, Mr. Uart, would have had some said some semblance of rebelliousness, but it's it's positive what I call positive disruption. We were disruptive by virtue of the ideology disruptive positively disruptive in our innovations and the word innovation is not a, a a generation x nomenclature it is something that we were very much aware of we were innovative we were prim full of ideas and yes all of us all of us at the time wanted to go into politics but unfortunately some of us made it into education so, so the manly name is a household name etched in the history of jamaica known for being part of the social fabric the solid social fabric of this country and part of that is the way the manly name warmed to the arts in the person of the late Edna Manley. I am proud to be associated with the college because as representing the college we are proud to wear that name Glenn, and we wear it with pride. We wear it because the person in whose honor the college is named has contributed so much to Jamaica by way of art, by way of creativity, by way of social transformation. Because it's not art for the sake of art. It is art which tells a story. And what a story she has told. And what a story she is still telling about Jamaicans rising up and responding with creativity and with resilience to just about any kind of challenge the world throws at us. Yes, Amina, we liquor. But we're really, really bigger than Talawa. <laughs> Can't spell us anywhere in the dictionary. So I want to thank you so very much for having saved this piece for when I arrive at the college. <laughs> Your timing is indeed impeccable. Seriously so. And also that it has intentionally coincided with our 45th year of arriving at one Arthur Wins Drive. I have to explain this because there are many persons who think we are just 45 years old. It's 45 years since we have come to this space, born out of Carrie Festa, another thing synonymous with the manly name. And if you go to Guyana or Suriname or any of the other member states which host Carrie Festa, they laud Manly for his introduction along with Forbes Burnham of that festival of the arts. So we are as old as Jamaica and perhaps a little bit older. We have a little semblance of colonialism in us but that's the good part on which we have created to make who we have become so thank you so very much if you watch me and if you stand there patiently i'll talk until tomorrow longer than amina <laughs> so <laughs> so thank you so very much and i hope that our relationship with the manly will continue beyond mr york's generation beyond my generation beyond Kerry's generation into the generation of Kai Wigan a student council president and beyond that generation what I'm saying is that if I have anything to contribute is to ensure that we continue with that relationship which has borne so many benefits for this college God bless you God bless you all
present it because I feel this painting has come home. So it's for everybody to enjoy. It was one of the last things she did before she died. And Hope has a theory that she was preparing herself for ascension with her horses that were beloved to her. Also, good morning. I don't know who else noticed that um, Mrs. Manley and interim principal came out properly color coordinated to receive the gift. To receive the gift. Because spirit moves and you know what I'm going to say next. The next thing I'm going to say is because, um, because we move in one spirit here, Spirit catches you when you fall. So look how me take now the word re-enchanting and put it onto the um, the theme for Jamaica 60. Because storytellers have a thing that say we re-enchant the world. So it look like rising and responding is part of that re-enchanting. And you cannot reignite anything until you re-enchant yourself. So let me be thankful to interim principal and VP Kerry and Henry, the spirits who caught me as I fell, to remind me and to remind us all that the theme for Jamaica 60 is reigniting a nation for greatness. And that is enchantment. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would now like to call upon the marketing manager, Ms. Colleen Douglas, to tell us what else is happening for the anniversary. Good morning, special morning to Chairman of the Board of Management, Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, Mrs. Marigold Harding, Interim Principal, Ms. Dorit Campbell, Vice Principal, Administrative and Resource Development, Ms. Kerry Ann Henry, Vice Principal, Academic Affairs, Acting, Mr. Roger Williams, Registrar, Claudia Wunchin, College Orator, Dr. Amina Blackwood Meeks, who is also the MC for this morning. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with the world what we'll be doing to celebrate our 45 years of existence at this location, One Arthur Wind Drive. I am looking, if you're looking at my screen for those who are on the YouTube platform, Edna 45 Rising and Responding. Um, the core objectives of this is really to highlight the college's achievements over the past 45 years and our relevance to cultural artistic development of our country and the region. Harnessing the power of MCVP alumni through deliberate alumni engagement, re-establishing our relevance to our internal audience through an internal engagement process with staff and students, Engaging policymakers to ensure colleges' inclusion in major decision making platforms regarding national growth and development. And of course, what means a lot to me engaging corporate and wider public for sustainable development. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few. But I want to share with you some of the events that we're having, or activities rather. Um, an alumni ambassadors initiative, engaging ambassadors at different levels. I call it a three-tier ambassador system where we engage alumni one, we engage current students, but we also engage ones who are patrons of the arts, friends of the arts who, are, who would be able to assist us in raising funds for the college. Um, the Friends of the Arts Initiative, we're encouraging everybody in Jamaica to purchase a specially designed art from the college 
as we celebrate our 45 to go towards our 45 for 45 initiative and see how much we can raise towards our college development. There are a number of things that on the campus that we could address from expanding studios to new studios, recording studios to fixing the building that was recently burned at the School of Visual Arts, the Hope Brooks Painting Studios, to getting a school, an actual building for the School of Arts Management. So there are many projects that the college has on its table strategically to develop. And for that, we appeal to the public in our 45 for 45 campaign, where we try to raise 45 million Jamaican dollars for or 45 years here at one Arthur Wing Drive. Some other events and activities that you can look out for is Edna Stories, which is a short documentary kind feature where students and alumni, especially or ones who've been engaged at the college. And to be mindful though, that in as much as we're celebrating 45 years, here at One Arthur Wing Drive that we've existed for a longer time. The School of Visual Arts would have started much longer than this. They've already been around for over 50 years. So the Egna stories will kind of be reflective, celebratory, and even looking towards what the next 45 will look like. The college orator is Dr. Amina Blackwood Meeks, who is your MC this morning, your Master of Ceremonies. And she's been having events on campus called Talking on Purpose. Um, she purposefully engaged in conversations that impact creative and cultural industry, as well as our history. And so a special collection will be done of her programs over the last eight years. Our special collage edition. So we have a college magazine, we have a college newsletter as well called Collegiate, but the college magazine collage is what we use to engage Caribbean artists, um, especially those who are alumni of the college, and we want to have a special edition of this one by the end of the, the year. So some reflective events we've already done. In January, we had a 45th anniversary service at the Boulevard Baptist Church. We had some reasoning series that are coming up shortly. We are having rather not we've had. Um, we had Reggae Open University, a collaborative Reggae Month effort with the Jamaica Reggae Industry Association. We had this wonderful engagement with children in the diaspora called Skeep Diaspora Connect, where children were taught traditional Jamaican dance. They were given storytelling from Owen Blacker Ellis. Traditional Jamaica dance was done with Sophia McCain, lecturer at the School of Music, and Andre Adman, who is the acting dean at the School of Music. Um, Sophie is from the School of Dance, forgive me. Andre Adman, who is acting dean at the School of Music, led the traditional music program in this diaspora connect. And Edna is always busy. I always tell people there is never a dull moment on this campus. And so this week we launch the official launch, the signals, the official launch of the 45th anniversary, being mindful that in November of last year, we had a soft launch, which was really pushing the 45 for 45 campaign that we'll try and push some more as we enter into November of 2022. So Founders Week, started on Sunday, March 6th, with a interfaith service, um, which honors all of the various religions on the campus. Um, we have research in the arts day that's coming up. We have a couple of activities that are special to the college and we'll be having, and some of them I will share with you, like, today this is our biggest event, the official launch. Tomorrow, March 8th, which is International Women's Day, we also observe International Women's Day with a special conversation um, in our program called Electric Boogie, which is led by the college orator. Um, so she will be speaking to three wonderful women who are the women behind Carrie Festa 1976. And this is the seventh staging of the Electric Boogie. Um, hosted by Dr. Blackwood Meeks, 
She'll be joined by Mrs. Jean Laurie Chin, we know as a popular publicity agent, a PR agent, um, Dr. Lorna Goodison, and Mrs. Vilma McDonald. That is at 12 noon, and we invite you to tune into the college's YouTube, or you could join us at Zoom. Um, we will put the password up for you in our chat. Um, so join us on Zoom for this conversation on March 8th, beginning at noon, so it's a lunchtime session. The following day, we have Celebrating Research in the Arts Day, which is, um, it starts at nine to four. We generally invite students from across Jamaica to come. And the theme for this year is Decolonizing Education, Pedagogy, and the Arts at the AMC VPA where presentations from students and faculty. Um, students actually will pitch their research ideas and based on the research ideas, they will be awarded. Someone good money, I call it. Um, on Thursday, I think it is, is it on Thursday or is it on, yes, on Thursday, we have another event, the 13th Gender and Development Lecture, looking at a gendered perspective of the impact of COVID-19 on vulnerable SMEs in Jamaica with Professor Rosalie Hamilton, who is the CEO of Lasker Chin Foundation, formerly of the University of Technology. And our week closes with the Orator's Coffee Morning, Coffee Tea and the Defeminization of Poverty, hosted by the college orator, Dr. Blackwood Meeks, and Mrs. Rosalie, Dr. Rosalie, Professor rather, Rosalie Hamilton, will join her and will talk about the times of crisis and the economic independence of women, safeguarding women's economic sovereignty, and the role of the artist in defeminizing poverty. And that would actually take care of our Founders Week activities. We ask that you tune in to the various events so I'm quickly going to repeat for you that tomorrow, Electric Boogie at 12, Wednesday, 9 to 4, Research in the Arts Day, Thursday, Gender and Development Lecture at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. And on Friday at 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., we have the Orator's Coffee Morning on our YouTube channel. And for those who can come to one author wind drive, please feel free to join us on Zoom or if you want to pop in on the campus. I mentioned earlier that the 45 for 45 is a very important initiative for us. Um, if you're looking on the screen now, you will see the bridge. It's the bridge that connects the different areas on the campus that we've not had in use for a while. And that's one of the projects we really want to address this year. Include And also want to include, as I mentioned before, repairing the School of Visual Arts Painting Studio and creating a recreational space for students. And I did mention that we can give to things that mean something to our own hearts. Um, whether it's a school for building for the School of Arts Management, additional studios for School of Music and so forth. So, Throughout the year, we will have a number of activities and every activity we have will be in honor of the 45 this year. And so this weekend, we also have a faculty show at the School of Music, which is on the 13th, which is Saturday, is that Saturday or Sunday? The 13th of March is actually the Sunday afternoon. We'll have the faculty show at 6 p.m. at the School of Music. We invite you to come and see our faculty. If you can't join us physically, it will be on the college's YouTube platform. Um, I call it Edna TV, so you can keep tuned in to Edna TV for faculty show. And then there is the School of Drama has a play that is currently ongoing um, in the Red and Brown Water at the Amphitheater. It opened last weekend, continues this weekend into so Friday, Saturday, Sunday night for at 7 p.m. for the School of Drama. We ask that you book, reserve your spaces for both schools of music and drama um, as we try to observe COVID protocols for, for this weekend. So please feel free to send a WhatsApp to 876-468-5409. That's 876-468-5409. Or you may call the college directly, 876-619-3362. That's 876-619-3362. 
or you may also keep in touch with us on social media from IG, Facebook, or Twitter at AMC or Edna Manley College and send us a message and we will be sure to respond to you. So um, I'm very happy. I hope that you can remember most of what I shared because it was a lot. But what we asked, we kind of did a little timeline to help you. What we ask though is that you keep in touch with us on all the platforms I just mentioned. Our website is emc.edu.jm and we will have all the information there and you can also look out for us on traditional media platforms. And so thank you so much for your time. Help us. Um, the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts remains the first and only one of its kind in the English-speaking Caribbean. And we have a very rich history. We want to make the future even richer. And we invite you to not just celebrate with us, but support the arts by giving back. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Ms. Douglas. A reminder to everyone that you can always go to the Edna Mandy platforms, the website, the Facebook, and the YouTube if you were not able to take in all of the uh, activities at once. And you can do so anytime you choose or at the beginning of each month and you will see what's there. Coming up this week are two activities that we are now especially inviting you to. It's the celebration of International Women's Day, which is tomorrow, and you can join on Zoom. And for everyone out there, the celebration of International Women's Day, we call Electric Boogie, because we end up dancing to Electric Boogie, so polish up your steps and come. But we have serious discussions about women's issues, and this year we want to look at the women behind Carrie Festa, that some of us don't remember that without Jean Laurie Chin and the public relations machinery that she harnessed without Mrs. Vilma MacDonald, who Mr. Wycliffe Bennett yanked out of the Ministry of Finance to show us that you can do a whole heap of things with not a whole heap of money, and Lorna Goodison who assisted to bring all of the collections together, um, the anthologies, and who was the previous Poet Laureate, will be joining us live here. We hope also that Yvonne Brewster-Jones, that titan behind the Barn Theatre, who was also part of Wickless, Mr. Bennett's, Mr. Bennett's team, will join us from England, but we know what the time difference Yes, we've asked Lorna to read. Yes. And then on Friday, uh, so the gender lecture will be sent out on Zoom on Thursday evening. The time. Thank you so very much. The electric boogie is from 12 until 1.30. Um, so bring your lunch in a little brown paper bag and come. <laughs> a bag that can be recycled and dance. We give you water, but nothing else. On, so the gender lecture will be transmitted on Zoom. But those of us who want an opportunity to engage with Professor Rosalia Hamilton, please join us here um, in your various locations um, on the campus. But you can join us here in the cage. We we are going to be engaging her with whatever she presents on Thursday, which we would not have discussed. Thank you very much, Mrs. Manley. Thank you for allowing us to trespass on your Monday morning. And, um, and we know that you needed to have left a little earlier. So can we just say thank you very much? Thank you, Interim Principal. That's it, everyone. Um, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. The 45th and Founders Week are officially launched. Have a good day.